footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our week one ACC game of the week preview between the Florida State Seminoles and the Pitt Panthers. So let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Seminoles. When you look at the Seminoles on offense, they have an excellent one-two punch in the backfield with James Wilder Jr. and Devontae Freeman, but they also have a big-time wide receiving core led by Calvin Benjamin, a 6'5", 242-pound sophomore. I would keep him on the interior this week, use him as a pseudo tight end so that way Jameis Winston can have an easy check down target in case Pitt sends the blitz. Now the linebacking core on defense will have to get off the blocks this week. Pitt loves to run double tight end sets. They're going to have to fight through those blocks to make tackles in the running game. And safety LaMarcus Join is an outstanding strong safety and he'll be a big factor in the running game this week versus the Pitt Panthers. Now let's move over to the Pitt Panthers in this ball game and start with the defensive side of the football. You look at the nickel and dime corners, Trenton Coles and Titus Howard. They're going to get put to the test this week with Florida State being able to spread the football field and going three and four wide receiver sets. They're going to have to hold up their end of the bargain in coverage. And on offense, let's focus on the interior offensive line where Pitt has a definite size advantage. You look at guards Corey King and Matt Rotherham, along with center Audie Howell. They're going to be key in this ball game. They can fire off the football and get that ground game going with running back Isaac Bennett, who's going to be the starter. Then they can have some success versus Florida State. And in the passing game, freshman wide receiver Tyler Boyd is going to have to make plays when his number is called upon because I'm pretty sure Florida State will do what they can to take away the outstanding receiver Devin Street and force everything to Boyd. He's going to have to make sure he takes full advantage of those extra opportunities. The X Factor for Florida State will be redshirt freshman quarterback Jameis Winston, who's taken over for an accomplished quarterback in EJ Manuel and he's a true dual threat type of a guy he can do it on the ground as well as in the air and while his confidence is high going into the season as it should be he can't get over aggressive and get greedy versus a tough Pitt Panther defense and on the flip side you have a guy that's well traveled and Tom Savage started his career at Rutgers now he's at Pitt can he finally put it all together in his senior season if he can bring the Pitt Panthers something they haven't had in a while, a quarterback that can bring balance to the offense, this could be a dangerous team in the ACC because the defense is there and there's talent on this roster to be successful. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game for Florida State. Delayed pressure versus Tom Savage. Number one, he's not the most mobile of quarterbacks. And two, he tends to hold the football a little bit too long. Could be prime pickings for a late blitz. And you want to roll coverage toward Devin Street, the outstanding wide receiver. You want to force these other targets to prove that they can make plays consistently. And you want to use the running game to help out your redshirt freshman on the road. Don't put it all on the shoulders of Jameis Winston. Now, now for the Pitt Panthers, you want to attack the speed and quickness of Florida State with the power and execution of your running game in a double tight end set. That's how you can win this ball game. You have a size advantage up front. Take full advantage of that opportunity. And the defensive ends cannot break contain versus Jameis Winston. He's a guy that can get outside the pocket and has the speed to take the distance. And on defense, you want to move safety Jason Hendricks around the formation. He's your ball hawk. He can read the eyes of the freshman and perhaps pick off a few passes. Now here's some 2014 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on for both teams. You look at Florida State, James Wilder Jr., one of my favorite running backs in the country. And along that offensive line, they're very talented. Trey Jackson, Brian Stork, Cameron Irving, who I really like. I think Irving's going to have a breakout season. On defense, keep an eye on Timmy Jernigan, Christian Jones, and LaMarcus Jordan is the best safety in the country. This is the guy, despite his size, is an impactful player in the running game and also in coverage. And for the Pitt Panthers, you have wide receiver Devin Street, a guy that's explosive after the catch. You have Aaron Donald, despite his size, is a disruptive force up front. And in the secondary, two outstanding players in Kawan Williams and Jason Hendricks, who's a ball hawk at six feet, 180 pounds, a guy that can also match up well on tight ends and wide receivers. Warwick Dunn is Florida State's career leader in rushing yardage. He was a three-time All-ACC performer and also two-time football All-American and was named an All-American in track and field as well. He's the only back in Florida State history to rush for three consecutive 1,000-yard seasons. And sticking with the running back position, Tony Darset out of Pitt is definitely a campus legend. Here's a guy that was the first freshman in 29 years at the time to be named an All-American. He was a three-time first-team All-American in 73, 75, and 76. He left college as an all-time leading rusher in NCAA history with over 6,000 rushing yards.
I like the Seminoles in this ball game, but Pitt does pose a tough challenge for Florida State at the line of scrimmage. Their offensive line can be successful versus Florida State defensive front. If they can make plays in the passing game, this could really be an interesting matchup. But right now, Florida State is a little bit more explosive offensively and dynamic defensively. And I think they'll be able to go on the road and take care of business.